Hello guys, it's Michael and Jeff, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a Minifig Maker custom. Once again, haven't reviewed one of his customs in like uh, a couple months now. Um, that's just because I haven't really gotten around to actually ordering one of his figures again. Uh, this card's going to be falling over throughout this review. It keeps falling over. <laughs> um, but yeah, here's his card, by the way. Uh, Minifigmaker.com. Really cool picture of his uh, Commander Wolf. And uh, he signed his name in there, Rick. So thanks for that. Very cool. And then white background. Um, so cool little card. Uh, and the figure came in this little plastic baggie inside this little case. Uh, inside a um, bubble miller. So, really cool. Um, his customs are really great. The quality never gets worse. Um, it's just always improving. The decals never peel. Um, and I can say that now because I've had his Snow Rex for or actually a year now, um, and nothing's peeled on it. So that's really awesome. Um, I don't want to rant too much on CAC, but with his figures, um, things peel quite a bit. Uh, but this is really perfect. The decal application looks like printing. I, I was actually, when I first got one of his customs, I was confused. I couldn't tell if it was printing or not. Because um, the arms are just so perfectly applied. It's just really, really nice. And it's just to a top quality figure. And it's definitely worth the $35 that you have to pay for it. Um, it's really nice. And you get it really fast. I ordered it like uh, a week ago. And it already arrived at my house. Now we do live in the same state. So the shipping is obviously much faster. Um, so really cool. Uh, the Mandalorian helmet right here was a freebie. Um, I guess he had some decals lying around. You threw this together real quick. Um, he has a water slide advisor, water slide decals here, there, and uh, he has some Captain Rex symbols up here. Uh, really nice freebie, really cool little design. Um, and then he's never made a design or shown a design like this before. Um, so that makes it really unique, and I'm really grateful, so thanks, Rick, for this. Um, so yeah, put that back there. Alright, so, on to the Captain Rex here. I didn't really get this just because David got it. I was actually planning on getting it, and then one day he just posted a picture, um, with it. Plus, I didn't have enough money at the time. Um, but anyway, it's a really, really cool figure. Um, it does have a black head. But that's alright, because I have two extra Captain Rex heads uh, lying around. But here's a helmet here. Get that to focus. The helmet is really nice. The decals look like printing. It just It's really great. And this is about the best Captain Rex that you're going to get on the internet right now. Um, the decals are just so perfectly applied. It just looks really, really nice. Um, really great custom. Uh, put the helmet back here. Put it back on. Uh, let me show you the pauldron first, actually. Here's the pauldron. Um, let me take off the head here. Here's the pauldron. Really, that's a top quality pauldron. It, it, it's really perfect. Uh, he has some really, really nice pauldrons. Um, I'm going to take it off. And this is a new pauldron that he made just for Season 4 Rex. Get all this. Put that back there. Now, the torso is inaccurate. But, you know, again, he is. Um, he makes his customs... He doesn't entirely focus on accuracy, as a lot of people do, uh, which is fine. It looks, it still looks really good. Um, nice torso. This is supposed to replicate um, Lego's torso, but he's, he put some dots on it. Um, and when he designed the decal, he put some little blue dots. Uh, so really nice. It feels like printing, and it doesn't feel like it'll ever come off. Um, and then you can see the legs here. The legs are pretty simple. He's done that before. Um, Really nice, really nice legs. Um, since the legs do not extend to the top, obviously they are posable. And then the waist cape, really nice quality waist capes. Um, really, really nice. I love his customs, and I honestly think I should buy from him more. Even though I, I do make my own customs, you guys obviously know that his are better. Um, I personally think he's the best customizer that you can buy from. Um, really, really nice customs. So, uh, yeah, that has been his uh, Season 4 Captain Rex. Let me quickly show you his, the arms. Take off the pauldron again here. Show you that. Really nice. You got the little communicator there, and then the uh, other arm decal. Oh, if you, I want to get you to see this here. It looks like printing. It, you can't see the edges at all. It's really, really nice. Um, 
I definitely recommend you pick it up on his site, minifigmaker.com. It'll be the first link in the description if you want to pick it up for yourself. So, uh, yeah, that has been Minifig Maker Season 4 Captain Rex. And by the way, it did come with this pistol. Uh, so, yeah, that's his Captain Rex. And thank you again, Rick, for the freebie. And, uh, yeah, minifigmaker.com. All right, bye, guys. By the way, guys, I just got some more uh, Phase 2 clones. These are not going to be used for customizing, but I now have a, a bunch of Phase 2 clones that I can use for future mocks and just to sh just for show. So, uh, really cool. I got these uh, from an eBay seller, actually. He doesn't have any more, unfortunately, uh, but when David got his, uh, he showed me. He sent me the link, and I took advantage of that very, fairly fast. So, uh, just want to show you that, guys. All right. Now, I'll see you later. Bye. Hello guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing a review on one of the Minifig Makers figures, uh, custom clone figures. Um, this is a fail, damn it. Hello guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a Minifig Maker custom. <laughs> Are you serious? Hello guys, it's Michael MGF, and today I'm going to be doing a review on a Minifig Maker. <laughs>